Has it become a new snowboarder? I've been dreaming of a pow day. Morning, young Groms. I just got up to run my one mile. Check the spots. Um, it's about half a mile from where we're camped right now. And yeah, the waves are not looking good. I slept in my sleeping bag last night because it's super cold. Yeah, so the pace of the miles are going to be super slow, like I've been saying. And then just so much slush. I'm actually gonna take a wrap because I figure like the higher altitude will have less water and more snow and that's easier to run on. Pretty much just as much ice, but at least it's not as wet. So we're just doing it. All right, guys, I finished my one mile. It's just straight up like raining on us at this point. Pretty gnarly. My feet are just sopping, sopping wet. It's a tough morning here in the Arctic. Yeah, it's just not all fun and scoring and trying to run one mile. I'm trying to just get back to the van at this point. It's down there. Pretty much just wet up on this higher street as it is down at the lower street. Walk down. The van is, um, oh, the van's right there. I'm about to walk down this. It's super wet. Just not making the right choices today. I'm looking for a new pair of boots for me, potentially. Uh, we're also, more importantly, looking for a bathroom, and the grocery store and the gas station were closed, so on to the next spot. All right, Emlyn's checking the road conditions. He just gave us the thumbs up. All right, Alex is the only one brave enough to go out and check it. We were gonna drive up further, but it looks like some pretty deep snow. Um, yeah. Wednesday, I think we'd have a few options. I can't pronounce any of the names, so it's no problem. Um, we are just kind of hanging out right now, waiting for things to get better in this area. We're gonna stick around here till Sunday. And then if the models are correct at Sunday and after that, who knows? The period today is smaller and the wind is as bad as it was yesterday afternoon. We just posted up at this coffee shop. It's definitely starting to snow again. The weather is so gnarly. This could be rain in a second, but I actually have my snowboard boots on. As you saw earlier, I totally ruined my Uggs. But I was like running in for some reason. All right, so pretty much what's going down right now is we've been doing this setup where we pile a bunch of stuff in the front seat and we're only traveling locally so we just sit back here. Uh, we're just on a kind of a down day so Filmer gets to surf and I'm settling for <laughs> the most mediocre arctic surf there. Nah, it looks pretty sick. Anyone from, from New York watching, it looks like low period Gilgo. Let's go. I love that. Gilgo team assemble. We're just like living back here. It's awesome. Um, I'm going to film Alex a little bit and I got my snowboard boots on. Maybe I just got, I just got no GoPro. There goes Alex. Let's go. Connected, keep it connected. Let's go, connected, connected. Go, go, go. Oh, he loves it. Alex is out there right now getting his first Arctic surf session. Um, we're so pumped. He just caught like three waves. Um, I'm out here holding the camera, trying to get some clips, and I'm stoked. Like, this is so cool. I really feel like a Walmart Chris Burkard right now. So, I'm absolutely stoked. And I think I might put the snowboard on when he gets done because it's like Japan right now. It's absolutely dumping. He's stoked to be surfing. I'm stoked to be filming. And in a second, I'm going to snowboard down this. So I'm fired out. Pretty brutal right now. Like when I turn this way and the gusts hit, I'm just getting like pelted right in the eye. Snow is literally coming down so intense right now. I can't see the lineup. I can't see Alex. I don't know what he thinks I can see, but... 
I'm trying to just roll when the sets come on and do my best. This is a, this is a new experience for me. I don't know if you can see him, but he's coming in. You can kind of see him coming in right there. Yeah, I was seeing that. What? Yeah. Dude, you gotta get take a spin on this thing. I will. <laughs> I have to put the boots on though. Those are nice. You can board. Put it back. There's no way I'm surfing after this. I made it to the drop point. This is pretty sketchy. I've never done anything like this in my life. <sighs> Definitely not surfing later. So tired. But yeah, I've dreamed of powder. As I've become a new snowboarder, I've been dreaming of a pow day. And I think we got it. Let's strap in and do this. Put that weight in the tail! Oh! Oh, that was fun! That Holy land! Holy fuck! Right when you went on the hill, that was sick! <laughs> I'm very new to snowboarding, but I've had this like Japan powder dream. And I think I just realized that that was so sick. I was so scared. Like you'll see the first run, I was just going so slow. And then both Alex and Evelyn were like, you gotta speed up. Like there's so much powder, you're fine. And like that last section, I just didn't even really feel comfortable when I got on my back heel and I was, it was just sick, but like, it's so sick. And then my, the first part where I was like cutting across, I was like, what? It just felt so cool. So stoked. I was like, I would go in lower. It's a little easier lower just because like. Did you see this big rock before yeah. or after? Oh, like down here. So because paddle in here? Before, up, if you jump in up there, you have to paddle less, but there's like, the rocks are gnarlier, you know what I mean? If you want to avoid rocks, you just kind of jump in right here and go. Alright, we'll see how it goes. Alright, good luck. What? Hey, I might be out there. Uh... Alright, Emlyn and I are going to post up, get some footage, watch Alex surf. We're going to give him scores too rate his wave like we're on the WSL. I'm claiming he gets three good ones. What do you think? There's definitely some lines coming through. I think it depends on where he sets, where he decides to set. But I think he can do some turns. Yeah, I hope he stays out for three ways. Um, it is fun. Like I was like, it looks really fun. And then I started getting pelted in the eyes as I was looking out. Like it was kind of happening to us on that big day. So we're like paddling out to the lineup and just getting pelted with like hail. So I think I'm done for today. Yep. Go, Alex, go. Turn, turn. You got it. You got it. 
Oh, give it's like plenty of waves. Go, go, he's right there. Seal mode, he's going seal mode. The sea monsters out there were touching my yeah. feet, dude, the whole time. Right, it's more shallow than you think, right? It's super shallow. Yeah. But it's that Kelpie stuff. Like, yeah. if I got hit with it, I'd be like, eh. Yeah. You'll leash that sketchy. get tangled. Surprised you did two sessions and climbed that hill twice. Yeah, that was bad. Dude, you, just, you fully tested the snow for me also. You went up first. <laughs> I just did that to have surfed this spot. Yeah. Or at least to get it in my brain. But that's, You got out there between the fjords. Isn't it sick? <laughs> that's, that sucked. In a good way, in a good way. <laughs> we just made it to where we're going to post up for the night. Alex is still editing some clips up here. I'm down here. Emlyn just drove us. And yeah, he should be coming in here any second now. All right, guys, we made it back to the van. We're bundling up. Last night, we actually turned the heater off all night. Um, I slept in my sleeping bag last night, and we're going to keep the heater on like a low setting. Emlyn's going to fire up a surf movie. Alex is watching from up top, and yeah, we're just going to hang out. It's still kind of early. Um, yeah, I think we want to be, be on the, I think we want to be on the waves pretty early tomorrow. So, gonna be an early night and then hopefully out there tomorrow morning. So, stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. We're just gonna keep coming at you. All behind the scenes footage, um, sharing with what you guys, sharing what I can with you guys. But we're stoked and we'll see you on the next swell.